Time magazine said that governmental workers and private workers are increasingly living in two different economic worlds, uh, essentially the haves and the have-nots. Do you think there is an inequity uh, between private and governmental workers, what governmental workers get, pensions, benefits, salaries, versus the private sector? And if you do, how do we correct that? We have to be willing to have this conversation because there is a difference. Um, we didn't see it as much in the last 10 years because the, the private sector, you know, it wasn't as inequitable, right? The, pri the private sector was doing really well, people were making money, people were growing, and it wasn't one was, was severely off kilter. But now, as, it, as the economy has reset itself, <laughs> you have families of four making $45,000 a year. Maybe they have a college degree, but they're paying taxes, and there are families, um, you know, who may thank you to them who are in public service, right? They're working for a public agency or whatever. And you haven't seen the same decrease in their benefits and their wages. Um, Can you do anything about that? Yeah, we have to. It's, it seems like it's a more, uh, I'm working, there's a couple colleagues, one of, one of my friends from Arkansas is working on a specific proposal. Um, and we kind of pushed to, to see if we could have that conversation be a part of any end of the year deal. That's one of the reasons I think members of Congress should take a 10% pay cut. I think we should not be, that's a credibility thing that doesn't balance the budget. That's just, you You need to, to be willing to look at what's happening to the average family. You know, I have family members who are either underemployed or unemployed. And then you have people who work, you know, for an agency who you know, end up with 100 days of comp time at the end of their retirement. They take a half a year off. And you scratch your head going, wait a minute, we've gotten out of whack. It's not about hating government workers, right? It's about bringing that balance back into place. And at the state levels, uh, you'll see in almost every state has a major problem with this, mostly with regard to unfunded pension liability, but it's usually health benefits. And, and I'll say our state level <coughs> benefits are different than the federal level benefits. And, uh, better at the state levels. And that's part of the reason you see every state struggling and facing bankruptcy if they don't get certain things in track. So if we're willing to look at every agency and we're willing to make cuts and adjustments, I think we need to look no further than our own benefits and salaries, whether you're a federal worker 